Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? And what's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all, um, Kinson and, pa and a, a line I never thought I'd say. Kinson and Palace has converted TMZ to the Sussex Squad. Y'all, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, I have a video just posted. Please go check it out where TMZ is admitting that they think that video that was shared with them by the son, which is William's buddies, are a Kate and Will lookalike. But it's not over. TMZ said, you want to play? You want to be petty? You want to talk to us like we're stupid Americans? TMZ said, baby, we're not the Associated Press. TMZ said, baby, I'm not routers. TMZ said, oh, baby, you want to get dirty? Let me show you how the game's done. Let me show you how to play some American football. Y'all, TMZ, let me just get to the point. Kate's medical records have been breached. I, I say again, it is being reported that Kate's medical records have been breached. Now, if you know anything about American media and you know anything about TMZ, baby, this has their fingerprints all over it, to which I say, mm, couldn't happen to some worse of people. See, here's the thing. We kept telling Kinsen and Palace, slow down. William kept zooming and weaving. He kept coming out with all these things. The last straw was when that Kate lookalike video, TMZ second in command, not mad, came back. They started to walk it back. And TMZ said, baby, let me show you what investigative journalism do because, baby, we're not afraid of the crown. And, baby, your laws don't work over here. And, baby, we don't have a London branch. And we don't care if we ever were sent out and get uh, permission to sign outside of the Piccadilly Parade or whatever you call that to take pictures of people. They said we could take the UK coverage or leave it breach those records. Now listen, it has not been confirmed that TMZ was behind it, but baby, this is TMZ. TMZ literally got the pictures of God rest her soul, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, literally dirt after the crash, the first responders took pictures and sent them to TMZ. TMZ is legit with their sources. TMZ will bribe anybody and baby, they can get into any police department, fire department, hospital. TMZ is no joke. And it, isn't it funny that as soon as, again, this is what all the sources are saying. There was a Kate and William lookalike outside that Windsor farm. They were sit there laughing and joking. The son got exclusive footage from a phantom Nelson Silva. I know they keep saying they found him on Twitter. He said, it's not him. It doesn't matter. I don't even think this person exists. This is Kins and Powell's thinking they're so smart, but literally showing that they literally got a private school education with rich parents that they never got graded. They, the son then said that they would share everything with TMZ. The son said that they would share everything with TMZ. It was going to be a joint thing. TMZ got the exclusive. TMZ claimed they checked metadata. Now, I want to apologize to you, TMZ, because I saw that video and said they have to be working with the son because there's no way you thought that was the real Kate. TMZ, they said they checked metadata. I said, who are you, TMZ, right? But I will say, TMZ, you should have listened to the Associated Press. They told you that Kim Jong William, right, Kim Jong's six hairs was sitting over in Buckingham Palace making moves. They told you not to trust them, boys, but you thought you were smarter than everybody, and you went in for that exclusive. And baby, you got what you were looking for. But TMZ said, you're going to get TMZ hit them with the Denzel Washington from training day, hit them with the Scarface, hit them with the me? You MF is lying to me? I own this gossip game. Don't you know I will destroy you? That was my dramatic reinterpretation from Denzel Washington in training day when he said, I'm King Kong in this bitch. That's what TMZ said to uh, Kinsen and Palace. Baby, you're not ready for the American media because let me tell you something. While we do respect certain things, let me take my name out of it because I'm a blogger. TMZ is the media. Why they do respect a lot of things uh, baby, royalty ain't none of it. Mm, mm, mm. Now let's see what's really going on. L where's mm. listen? They said at least one staff member reportedly attempted to access the medical records of Kate Middleton while she was a patient in the London clinic. London Bridge is falling down. 
Falling down. Come on, y'all. Falling. Let's do the. Fall. Wait, we can't do the Harlem shake anymore because Diddy. London Bridge is falling down. My fair Katie. Woo! I know Katie, if she, Kate, if she is being held by, uh, against her will, it's probably like, woo! Mimi, da 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 T I, this is really cracking me up that TMZ is about to run through everything in Kensington Palace's lives. Rose talking about she's not a mistress. Andrew talking about he innocent. Edward, I don't even know what he's talking about, but he can get the smoke too. K TMZ is about to come for the Royals. As a matter of fact, Harvey was just on Piers Morgan defending Meghan Markle. Don't believe it? Baby, just watch. Hold on, let's 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 hit these hieroglyphics really quick. Because baby, yeah, let's get into this. Harry and Megan are in the upswing because what I'm hearing is people saying, well, Megan was right. It's it, impossible being a member of that family. And people who think that Kate might have had some kind of a nervous breakdown, they're looking at what happened to Megan. They're looking at what happened to Diana. And they're saying, yep, it's impossible to live in that family. Uh, Megan and Harry may be right. So in a way, I think in terms of their their status, in terms of PR in America, um, it's gone up as a result of this. How interesting, because over here, all the polls are, they're getting more and more unpopular. Yeah. Um, yeah. America is very important, Harvey, to the royal family, to the monarchy. I think if you took the American love of our royals away, you would be taking a very, very large chunk of their viability as a working, serving monarchy. Um, how damaging is all this being, do you think, to the brand of the royal family and the monarchy? I'll, I'll tell you why I think this is really damaging. That a, a lot of people in America, honestly, myself included, think that the, that the royal family, it's just this stodgy group of people behind, uh, you know, this big wall at Buckingham Palace. And that William and Kate were kind of a breath of fresh air, that they were young, that they kind of connected to young people around the world, that they understood media. And now the way I think a lot of people are viewing this is they're using the same playbook as the 70 and 80 year olds in the palace. And so there was this feeling and maybe even hope that that William and Kate would dust off you know, what had been going on in the palace for years. And I think now they're kind of viewing them as part of the problem. Y'all, baby, we don't know if those were Christmas lights outside of Windsor Farm, but can we just say that Christmas has come early for the Sussex squad. Kensington Palace took who was once a burgeoning, burgeoning ally, which was TMZ, and turned them into the Sussex squad. Megan was right. Megan's on the upsqueak. Basically, mm, mm, mm. but listen, if the rumors can be believed, TMZ is saying, baby, and we got something for yourself. The London Clinic Hospital investigating allegations that staff attempted to access Princess Kate's private medical records. TMZ is like, yo, let's see what was really wrong with you. You wanted to be in the American media. Oh, don't run now. Don't be scared now. You wanted some of this American media. Come here. We're going to give you all the American media you want. You should have just stayed your six hairs on that head over in London, eating your porridge and whey or whatever they do, right? Hiding the apples from Camilla and literally tending to your rose bushes. Kate, well, we don't know whether she is an accomplice or a victim, but if we find out that you're an accomplice, baby, we got something for you too. But in the meantime, we're going to take it easy on her because Kate actually might be a victim too. The hospital bosses have launched an investigation into claims at least one staff member attempted to access the medical records of Kate while she was recovering from abdominal surgery in January. Yo, TMZ is about to leak what's really wrong with Kate. Is there something wrong with Kate? You know they're trying to sue for injunction after injunction after injunction. Probably trying to say it's doing with the foreign government. We don't care. One of the go-to hospitals for the royal family has been launched, has launched an investigation into allegations staff tried to access the private medical records of Princess Kate. That's right, Harvey. You let them know it ain't safe. And I know I talk a lot of trash about TMZ, but baby, the enemy of, I'm sorry, the friend of, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. 
you let them know. You let them know it ain't safe. The mother of three was admitted to the London Clinic sometime in January for what Kinsen and Palace had described as a planned abdominal surgery. In a statement to provide an update on her health on January 17th, the Palace said, blah, 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 lies, lies, lies. Anyway, right? However, Kate's privacy has been allegedly breached during her stay at the facility after at least one staff member attempted to access her private medical records. According to the Mirror, employees at the hospital were utterly shocked. That's right. Let the American boys run a nip in there. F your monarchy. I don't know why they didn't learn from us in the Boston Tea, uh, tea Party. We literally founded our country on a lot of disgusting things immediately uh, and admittedly. But, um... One thing we can agree is at that moment, we don't respect that mess. It's all make believe. That's like somebody trying to make us feel bad that they access like Walt Disney's secret files on Mickey Mouse. Man, if you don't come off off that mess anyway, right? The employee hospitals were utterly shocked to hear about the allegations due to its reputation for being closed lipped. That's right. That's right. Let the Americans run up in there. Senior hospital bosses contacted Kinson and Palace immediately after the incident was brought to their attention and assured the palace there would be a full investigation. Yo, that means they actually got the records. Now, it is illegal to share people's private medical information. So I want to say, I don't care what her medical records say. I'm being serious. But I am interested to know, was she actually in there? Did a surgery take place? Was this all a farce? None of my business, but if it's released to the general public, hey, the whole medical staff have been, I don't, hold, if it, like, whatever, you don't get what I'm saying, right? The whole medical staff have been left utterly shocked and distraught over the allegations and were very hurt that a trusted colleague could have allegedly been responsible for such a breach of trust and ethics. Meanwhile, his whole gener his kids have their college paid for, and he's chilling on the beach in Aruba. I'm just saying, you don't want... Here's the funny thing, which is really something how skillfully Megan has handled the U.S. press. But she's American. She knows the limits. She knows what she's trying to do. I know Murdoch had people going after her, but it was a very U.K. spin. William and Kate, stay yourself over on that pond. You not right. You know that old saying, right? Right. Mama, right? Mama, who told you to send your babies out on this on this battlefield with these trained killers called TMZ? Who listen, Charles, who told you to send your son out on this bot battlefield? Diana is probably like sitting there in the sky looking down, talking about some Ramadas up, Ramadas up, Ramadas up. Literally, she's probably rooting for the sidelines. Okay, right. I know some derangers gonna be in the comments talking about you're too happy. Am I? Because I feel like singing, but I won't. Okay. It'll be very damaging to the hospital. The faculty has been, pre uh, has been previously used by other members of the royal family, including King Charles, who was undergoing cancer treatment, and the late Queen Elizabeth too. Get into their... Well, we can't request people's medical records, but what's going on? Lizzie's in the ground. We can talk about it. Oh, my God. Other notable faces include politicians such as United States President Jonathan F. Kennedy and Liz Teller. Is this supposed to make us feel bad? The Kennedy stayed there. Baby, this is not London. And rip that sucker open. If you got it, flaunt it, please. God. Royal editor and associate of Daily Mail, Russell Meyer, said it was hugely damaging for the London Clinic with its unblemished record to be very much in danger. That's right. Money talks. Gosh, tacky American money talks. Listen. <laughs> Woo, what y'all think about this? I can't wait for TMZ to start tearing them apart. Harvey did not. He even went on Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan was stuttering. <laughs> And Harvey was just looking mad. Yo, this is going to be a fun week. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.